Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be covering the STB-1, the Tier 10 Japanese medium tank on the tech tree, and uh, if you've played any ranked battles lately, uh, you have definitely seen this tank. It's very popular uh, lately. Um, ever since about a year and a half ago, it got some pretty substantial buffs, and, uh, and now it's in a really... It's pretty strong, uh, even using competitive sometimes on certain maps in certain situations. Uh, but in, in random battles, it is extremely potent and very popular among uh, some, some of the better players in the game. Uh, so I figure we're going we're gonna to cover it now. So we'll just jump right into the stats here, basically. Uh, the, the gist of this tank is it is all about ridgelines. It loves being on ridgelines. It, um, it just... It just man I, I don't like it uh, it has a really nice small turret we'll get to the armor model later but like it has uh, a fairly accurate gun like these soft stats these uh dispersion factors are incredibly small right so the, the gun feels really good and the dispersion is is just okay at base but you can really get this down quite a bit to make it um where it 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 just, you know, it hits. You also have a very good DPM, 3100 base, and 360 alpha is a little bit lower than average, so you're not usually going to be trading, uh, unless it's like a Russian medium tank, you're not usually trading one for one with enemy tanks and doing it favorably, right? At tier 10, a lot of things are hitting for 400 or 490 or, you know, for 390 or, you know, or even up from there. So it's a little bit on the lower side of the, of the damage, um, you know damage aspect of things but the dpm of course really really makes it makes it shine the standard penetration is great uh the premium penetration is a heat round that has 330 millimeters of pen that's also great especially because you can really put it exactly or mostly where you want it um notably it has it has 50 kilometer an hour top speed and 25 reverse speed uh but it also has really really good power to weight and it's not weighed down by ground resistances that are that bad so it really um it's very peppy. It feels it feels a lot faster than other tanks that do 50 because it uh, it has such good power to weight. And uh, I personally, I'm I'm a bit of a silly idiot, so I like to run mine with a turbo because it can it you can feel the top speed bonus. Uh, I won't say that it's you know, we'll get we'll get into equipment later. But anyways, it's it's unique in the fact that it's got such good power to weight. Um, also, let me see here. The other most, I guess, the, the more unique thing about this is the hydro pneumatic suspension uh, that you do not need to push a button to activate. Uh, and you'll notice that here it's got, uh, what is it, eight degrees of gun depression normally. And then if, when you activate the hydro pneumatic suspension, it gets an additional six. So it's a total of 14 degrees of gun depression uh, if you're going slow, right? If you're going 30 kilometers an hour or lower, you will activate you just by looking down at the ground. The the tank will. Uh, you know, let's just let's just go and look. If you're let's see, you're, you're looking at the side of the tank. If you're looking down, and then there's a certain point where you're if you're going slow enough, it will tip the tank up, so you get your full 14 degrees of gun depression. And this is what you see. You just see this tiny little this roundy bits of turret all over the over a hillside. And again, it's it's pretty terrifying. Um, so that's what this tank is really all about is using these ridge lines and its tiny turret to poke up take some shots and move around and and uh i will say uh i guess yeah well so that's that's the stats before we get into the armor um it's it's very a very potent tank uh, but again i i kind of I have a hard time with this tank because it um it's not very forgiving uh, and we'll get into that right now so this turret seems pretty solid right if it's just standard rounds i mean the hull is not very good uh you'll get some kind of an auto bounce crazy ricochet occasionally Right, especially if you're using gun depression, the, the, the hole can bounce things. The turret's got this cupola, right, and it's uh, this part's okay, right? The cheeks are okay, but if someone taps two, all of a sudden it's really, you know, it's less good. And so that's kind of the moral of the story. I have a hard time with this tank because, as you're seeing here, somebody just shoots you right in the mantlet. Like there are times when I fight these things, and their turrets seem like they're impenetrable. And then there are times when, uh, you know, when I'm playing mine, and I just get cheesed through the turret all the time. So I think. The moral of the story is that you shouldn't depend on the armor of the turret, but it can troll people and get some, you know, get some good bounces here and there. Uh, you know, using the gun depression, you've still got cheeks and so on and so forth. But like, you know, this is okay. So it's good to poke up and, and minimize your exposure time, take your shot and then back down. Don't give the enemy time to look at you much or they might pen you. Uh, but that's basically the armor. There's not a lot of like, you know, obviously the, the engine deck is weak. The sides are weak. The side of the turret's weak. It's the, the really the only part of this armor that's any good is the front of the turret face. Um, you know, you're, you're getting some auto bounce angles here, these various different angles. But most of the time, like you can be penned with HE from derp guns and artillery and stuff. So it's for all intents and purposes, this is an, a paper medium tank. 
Uh, so you should treat it as such. In some certain maps and situations, you can get up on ridges in somebody's face and brawl a little bit. But generally speaking, this is uh, not meant to be duking it out with somebody, especially unless you're on a hillside and you can really use the terrain to your advantage like this. So um, that's the STB. And we'll go to the uh, the build and the equipment. So this is this is the, I guess, the, the build, the... the um, Field mods I would take, this one is kind of up to you. I would take the durability uh, because of course if you damage your gun or you get a damage engine rack, uh, ammo rack or engine, this is gonna make it so that that's not that big of a deal and you can make up those traverse speeds elsewhere. Uh, I would definitely go for the reduced aiming size because the soft stats as you can see are god tier awesome already. So it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. You're, you're clicking it off and it, it doesn't make any difference. So you'll definitely want to get your accuracy down as good as, as, good as it can be. Uh, reverse speed is huge because that's gonna allow you to back down from cover. Like if you're on a hillside and you take a shot, you can back down out of, out of harm's way that much faster. So I would probably take this one. Uh, alternatively, you know, I guess you could make an argument for, uh, for this if you're using camo with your STB more than more often than not but uh, this is where I would go with it personally I'm, I'm, I'm welcome to be proven wrong somebody tell me if I if I'm you know horribly misrepresenting this tank or whatever um, I haven't really found a use for either one of these two slots this isn't what I want out of my uh, STB one if your crew sucks maybe you maybe you swap optics uh, instead of vents you have optics in there um, but I would definitely take the forward speed um, because it can use the forward speed and uh, this one, you know, he'd go either way again. Uh, and then equipment is, if your crew is very good, it's probably Vents, Ram, or V-Stab. Um, you could probably, um, someone's going to yell at me about this, I'm sure, but you could probably make an argument for reducing the, getting rid, maybe getting rid of V-Stab. That's, nobody wants to do that. Um, but for me, I'm, I'm an idiot. I like to run mine with a turbo because going 57 in an STB is uh, silly to me. But of course, that also means I'm not getting my full view range. So... Hmm. Anyways, uh, this this one's debatable, but I think probably most people would agree that rammer is required. V stab is a really good idea because that means you never have to stop and aim. And then um, either optics or turbo or vents, depending on how good your crew is. So that is uh, that is the tank. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the replay. All right, so we're going to be following Jedediah playing in his STB one on. Uh, Gosh, what is this? Ruinberg? Ruinberg on attack defense. His team is on defense. And I, I saw in the in the uh, before the game here, Jedediah is running his uh, his STB with vents and rammer and improved aiming and also running food. So I'm assuming he's got a very good crew. So yeah, so I think you could probably um, you know, make a case for not having V-Stab. And you could see how tight the gun is. You know, how, how uh, tight the aiming reticle stays, stays locked in. But uh, Jedediah is going to go ahead and take the uh, take a position on the one two three line over here, and uh, I really agree with this. Um, I'm not super crazy about this map in general, just because I've, I'm I don't know I don't don't really ever seem to have great game in this thing. But but you can see like obviously that was a lucky shot, but the aiming reticle does not get very big even when you're moving around a whole lot. So Jedediah is going to try to find a a hillside, a ridge that he can. Ooh, snapshots into the cheeks of this T-57 who's not paying attention. And look at how fast it's reloaded. It, it, it like, not shooting eight, uh, heat rounds at all. And, oh, look at what you can use. You can see the, um, Jedediah does not want to get slapped by this, sh by this, uh, shit barn. So we're gonna wait, 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 and then pound the shots and eat this T-32. But just look at this. We're like, I don't know, not very long into this game. We've already racked up 1,700 damage. It just, the DPM of the STB is really, it just needs to be respected because the, um, and as, and as T-57 is loaded again, uh, Jedediah goes ahead and gets a tracking shot and gives him something else to shoot at. Um, but yeah, because the alpha damage is somewhat low and the DPM is so is so high, what that really means is this thing is just going to be a machine gun, and that's really what it is. Um, and you can see Jedediah is kind of wrestling a little bit with the with the hydropneumatic suspension. It doesn't work over the side, only directly over the front. Uh, whoop. <laughs> And we bounced a, uh, a shit barn. I think possibly what happened there is that hit the barrel, hit Jedediah's barrel. So, you know, go ahead and buy a lottery ticket. That's pretty incredible. I think any other any other way that probably would have, uh, maybe not pen, but done probably five, six hundred damage. So, um, oh, but you could see here when he's, uh, when he's got it below 30 kilometers an hour, it's as you look down, it, uh, the, you know, the, the, the reticle, Go. So, so Jedediah is using the brand new 
intuition perk that's been changed to switch back and forth between ammo types as he as necessary using the he now to try to take out the low health uh t57 and the low health t32 uh, but also might you know also works really well against shit barns too so um, and doing a great job here because, you know, the Artie hasn't really found if he's playing pretty well, Artie's safe. And all these guys are one-shots, he's using this ridge. This is, this is what the kind of thing that... Wow, T32 is still okay. Um, this is the kind of situation that, that STB just loves to be in. You know, sitting on a hill. Uh, got a few, a few tanks backing him up so people don't just roll over top, but, but just working a ridge line. This is, this is what STB does. Um... And we're just clocking away damage. The, uh, because it's attack defense, there's not 15 minutes in the game. We've only got, I think it's only a 10 minute game. and So we're four and a half minutes in, right? It's six minutes left. And um, I don't think Jedediah wants to find that shit barn with his face correctly so. But, you know, if he's distracted by the K91, we'll take the opportunity. Oh, oh, okay. We'll eat a shot, but that's that also means, yeah, this, this shit barn definitely dies. He's on like a 17 second reload, so you know you can just go up there, take your shot, and finish him off. Jedediah is looking through the, I don't know if you saw that, there was a really small, there's a window where you can see uh, across the way to, uh, to some of the enemy positions. Uh, just keep an eye on things as people start crossing this, they're crossing the bridge, this Skoda looks... Yeah, there, there's side shots here, right through that doorway on these guys as they're brawling with our guys in the city. Oh my gosh, these shots! I can't believe it. This is this is why Jedediah has the uh, the improved aiming, because uh, you know I don't I don't have that, and I probably would have whipped that shot. And so, you you can tell though Jedediah is still not really, he's not really. Ex wow, wow, that these shots. So this is why you run improved aiming. Um, He's not really exposing a whole lot of his tank, though. He's not giving people the opportunity to shoot him. Uh, you know what I mean? So that's that's one of the things. Like obviously, the, the shit barn got a shot in, but and now he's gonna he's gonna destroy this sign, or I'm sorry, the the fence, because he wants to be able to use the most gun depression, use the hill to the greatest degree possible, and not give him anything. Because you can see they're hitting this cupola. Even these even an E75, which is not the most accurate tank in the game. But from that far off, if you give them a chance to aim, they will hit the they will hit the cupolas, and they did just now. It just happened to not pen, luckily. So, um, but this is this is the name of the game. This is pretty much peak STB. You're just you're sitting on a ridge line, moving up and down, back and forth, and this is between every shot, not giving someone a, a clear shot to shoot in, and um, using your turret, using all your gun depression. This is like this is like a clinic in STB, and we're just gonna go ahead and. Man, these guys just... I feel kind of bad. The C-75 is nothing you can do. Uh, because Jedediah is not being contested on this side at all, I mean, and what's that T-32 going to do except run up here and die? Uh, Jedediah basically has unfettered access to the sides of all of these uh, red... all of this red team. But even with that still being the case, our team still seems to be losing. It still looks like they're kind of losing. So, Jedediah needs to be really careful. Uh, he's got 7,000 hit points, which is a big resource, you know, like you're a tier 10 and a tier 8 game. I, I forgot to mention that. Tier 10 and a tier 8 game. And so there's not very many of you. There's three of three tier 10s in the game. Or is it? One, two, three, four, four. Four tier 10s in this game. But, you know, your hit points are a substantial resource. You don't want to throw those away. So because Jedediah still has 1,100 of his hit points, he can still take a whole bunch of hits. He can afford to be a little more aggressive. And uh, and now I think he's going to get in a little closer and try to put his gun in the fight, but doesn't want to take a 705 shot to the, for free. You see, the 705 is across the bridge. Uh, but yeah, this is really just trying to find all those little eeks and little just kind of spots. And he gets spotted, but doesn't spot anything in return. That's a pucker, pucker moment. Nobody wants to see that. Um, and a list appears. This is really awesome, honestly. So like. It's very interesting to see how this game kind of develops because you can never push down the one-two line, um, and luckily for Jedediah, the CS has done us the favor of pushing for him. But also the charioteer, pay attention to the minimap. The charioteer is falling back, which means Jedediah knows his his cover, his uh, supporting fire is also kind of running away. Um, you know, the 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 CS could probably, uh, I mean, we we could definitely take out the CS in our STB one, no problem. But in doing so, you would definitely be giving up a lot more hit points than you want to. So Jedediah is going to get up here and just just see if he can eke out some more free damage. Because again, this he kind of gets to own this side of the map. TVP is on the far side of the map, just paying attention to things here. And 
And now we're back to this, and we'll get some free damage on this, uh... Oh, 705. Oh, man. So this is what you do. You just, it's like, um, you just, you're trying to be an opportunistic mobile medium tank. And so because of that, the skill cap, look at these shots, Jesus, oh my god. The skill cap here is very, very high, right? Good players can eke so much out of these tanks. In fact, they're, they're downright annoying to play against, to be honest. Uh, and, but of course, you know, I'm, I, I sometimes struggle in the thing just because I'm not that good at this game some, some days especially. Um, so not everybody's gonna be able to do the very best in these map in these uh, in these tanks, but uh, gosh, when they work, they work. You know, look at this. This, this CS realizes he's made a mistake, and uh, Jedediah is, is just gonna try to eat this guy as quick as he can because honestly, the game is only got a minute and forty three seconds left. But Jedediah is gonna try to just get as much done as he possibly can in the time that he has because you know all he has to do is live to win. But it kind of seems like there's farming to be had. There's hit points to be to be harvested here. And so Jedediah wants to be careful, and he hasn't spotted that charioteer on his own. So we're gonna just be very, very conservative. He's only got ten rounds left, and uh, still kind of owns this whole side of the map. But but these guys are pushing down our city, and oof, my gosh. So what do you do now? I think Jedediah is gonna make the right call here, skirting along the uh, the river. Right, to try to get back to the base because as the enemy is going to go up to the B5, C5 region up where, you know, toward our base to try to take out the rest of our team, they're going to come out through those buildings and that's going to make a really easy side, it's going to like, this position that Jedi is going to is going to provide really good side shots on a lot of those, a lot of those positions and that's I think what we're going for right here. And notice the mobility, Jedediah does not have a turbo on this thing and notice how fast it's just, it turns on a dime, it's just, it's just a nimble tank. And you can see, even though the soft stats are very good, relatively speaking, it's still just, it takes a second. You still want to like, you still kind of need to aim the gun, right? It's its not just like, it's not like a stirb where it's just always kind of aimed in all the time. But its uh, it definitely is a well-behaved gun if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is, you know, plugging shots on a, uh, on a ridge line. And, um, God, I've never, I don't think I've ever asked for this, but it's almost like Jedediah could use maybe another minute in this game because he's he's got all these guys hull down I feel like he could probably clean this game up to be honest because the 705 is farmable the TVP is a one shot oh is a two shot I mean it's just man it's it's kind of too bad we ran out of time there I mean it was it was definitely a win regardless but uh, I think Jedediah probably could have pulled that probably could have killed the entire team if he had another minute or two of gameplay left all right, so at the end of the game, Jedediah ended up taking home 10,400 damage, 5 kills, 2,500 blocked, and 1,000 assistance damage. Uh, it's unclear if that's spotting or tracking. I think that's probably spotting on that CS, if I had to guess. Uh, obviously, that gets that gets Jedediah an ace tanker, a steel wall, a high caliber, and a whole bunch of other medals, uh, along with 1,389 base XP, because technically they did win that game. Uh, because it's they were on defense, the enemy did not kill their team or cap the base before the game was over. So technically, the defending team won. Um, Economics-wise, it looks like Jedediah came out 49,000 credits ahead. Uh, lots of heat was shot, you know, but uh, and he paid for that with the ammunition. Uh, but you know, he also had battle payments and anyways, I think he would have lost some credits here, but it doesn't really matter. You don't you don't go into a game like this hoping to make credits. This is just an epic performance. So congratulations to Jedediah for uh, the fantastic game and thanks for sending it in, man. I very much appreciate it. Um, and thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was instructive. Uh, if you if you haven't gone down the Japanese medium tank line, I do recommend it. Uh, there's some stinkers in there, but for the most part the line is, is pretty okay. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks.